Hello guys, it's Tiny Tanks here, and today we will be looking at questions 16 to 20 for the 2019 Intermediate Mathematical Challenge. And, yes, and the 15th questions, and the 16th question says that x and y have a product which is equal to the sum which of these expressions give x in terms of y um what i did here was i gave examples so x equals two and y equals two so that that would work um because two plus two equals two and two and two times two equals two two so x equals two and so x in terms of y so let let's just try them out so um for example two over two minus one equals two over one so that works so a might work and two over two plus one so two over three that wouldn't work 3 over 2 wouldn't work, 2, and 1 over 2 won't work, so a half won't work, and 4 over 3 won't work, 2, so the answer is A, for question 16. Um, for these questions, when it asks you 0 0.8 plus 0 0.07, um, how you calculate these numbers with the repeats is just you write 0 0.88888. Yeah, just just write as much as you need. And 0 0.07777. So that should do it. So 15, 15, 16, 16 again. Uh, 16, sorry. Um. And then it's 16, 9, so it's 0 0.96. Um, and the 6 has the, um, that, um, because it's 0 0.9666. And, and that digit is a 5 here, because it's, like, basically, it's basically... Um, because because you don't have the one here, so if you had more eight and more sevens, that would also be a six. So the answer to question seventeen is D, which is zero point nine six 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 recurring. And for question eighteen, it says two numbers x and y are such that x plus y equals three over two and y. What x over y equals <coughs> three over two. <coughs> so, what I did here was I did um I did x plus y. So let's say um let's say um. <clears throat> Let's say x equals 3 over 2 and y equals, um, um, yes, let's say, let's give, so you can give examples to this, so for example, you can try out x and y, and then, and then so if you add these together, um, you get 2 over 25, which is the answer to question C. Uh, uh, no, sorry, not question C. Um, question 18, which is C. And for question 19, um, it might seem scary, but you don't actually need to do, like, for example, 6, 1, like, a 6, a 7s plus an 8, okay, 56, 6 times 56, no, that is not needed, so, uh, so A is ha a half, B 
if you look at the difference between B and A, like which one is actually bigger, you can notice that um that you can change three uh, a third to a fourth, which is decreasing a third, and and so that would be two a uh, two quarters, so it would be a half equals. But because um but because three over one. But because three over one has a, like, has a. <coughs> sorry, because. Because three over one, over one is larger than a quarter, which it has been turned into, so this option, so B. Is larger than A, and so is C. So what we do here is between C and B, we can do. We basically can turn, um, turn five over one uh, into a <coughs> a six. So, so that would be, um, that would be a so a six plus a six equals to. Like a third, a third. So that will become that. So both of these would become a third, and also plus a fourth. And same was in C. So it's also plus a fourth. Um, here a quarter. So the answer is. The answer is C is larger than B. Uh, and. Using the same thing, we can know that E is the largest among all four. So the the answer to question nineteen is E. For question twenty, um, it it this question is quite tricky, as you need to work out. What you need to work out how, I uh, like um, lots of things here. Yeah? So oh, and basically, um, let's say that. Let's say for example, um. This triangle, so, let's say it has. And this rule only applies to equilateral triangles, so don't try it on other triang other forms of triangles. So if it, it's an equilateral triangle, so let's say that's the height, and the side length is a. So basically, the height equals to a squared minus two over a. Uh, a over two, and that, uh, and this, um, and the square. So a over two squared. So it equals to the square root of a squared minus a over two squared. So which equals to a squared minus four a over four squared. So, uh, the square root of this. I know I might be um, talking rubbish to you, but um, um, just try and um, understand. So, and then we can make this sim even more simplified by making it three a the square root of three a over four. Three uh, a s squared over four, and which we can make into three a over two. <coughs> the square root of three a over two. So. So. The area of a triangle is a times. 3a over 2 times a half which 
equals to oh it's um oh and that's and what i wrote here isn't correct so basically you don't have that wait let me undo all this so basically what i did wrong here was it is the square root of 3a over 2 so not the whole thing and a times the square root of 3 over 2a times a half equals to 3 uh, the square root of 3 over 4a so that's the a squared that's the area of the triangle so wait now this is trouble um so <coughs> what we do is we take this so um so so we take this number uh, this thing so but it's here it's so we know that this is so we can take this inside so so we can use it and so because so because because a is one so so the answer is just this but we need to take um <clears throat> we need to take also so we need to take f so that's for, for example the side length of this whole thing a uh, whole side here the side length is b so this um so the square root of three over four b squared this time equals to so three <coughs> and the square root of three of two and that's times four which is we know from is equals to b equals um to um the the square root of six so the answer of b which is the side length of this triangle is b to question 20 thank you for listening